Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another How to Install video on the channel today. This one, of course, concerns the Third Age Reforged mod, which recently, I believe a couple of days ago, has updated their files to patch 0.97, so I will be updating my How to Install video for you guys. And a couple of you guys have been saying that uh, the install process is a bit different, but I found it pretty close to the same, but uh, maybe there's something that you guys might have missed, so hopefully this video does clear it up for you. But as I said, we're going to be installing patch 0.97, so basically we need to do that from moddb.com. Just go to the main moddb page, and then in the search bar, start typing in Third Age Reforged, and it will be the first one to come up and if we click on that it'll bring you to this home screen you can read a bit about patch 97 or 0.97 and they actually did quite a bit of updating a lot of new units and there is kind of a playable campaign it's in its beta phase so i have been told to expect crashes but as far as i can tell it is playable which is very very cool so like a huge amount here here is the campaign so uh if you guys have any want to read all of this, you can read the patch notes and figure out what exactly has changed from 0.96. But I'm not going to read all of that out for you guys, I am just here to show you how to install it. So we're going to go to the Files tab here, and then we're going to look for Third Age Reforged 0.97. It is standalone, so just like the previous version, 0.96, it does not need the base Third Age game for it to work. Third Age Reforged can work just on its own. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And it is a fairly large game, as you can see, the packed files are 6.44 gigabytes, and the actual full-size game, I believe, is over 16. So please make sure that you guys have enough space on your hard drives before you try to install this mod. But all you have to do is click the Download Now button, and it should populate with a little bar in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen to show that you are downloading the packed files. Just waiting for it to do, there we go. And we can close that. And I highly recommend that you guys do use Google Chrome for this. Uh, there has been some issues with Internet Explorer blocking the actual download. So uh, with like a firewall or something, people are commenting saying that the uh, Internet Explorer isn't working. So just use Google Chrome. I think Mozilla Firefox is also a good option as well. But I've already downloaded this. I already have a copy of it. So I'm going to go ahead and just cancel that. But uh, you guys can pause the video here. And once this is downloaded, we will move on. But since I already have it downloaded, this is a good time to close moddb.com. We won't need it anymore. Just keep the 6.44 gigabyte file size in the back of your mind. And if you look, I'm already in my downloads folder here. And if you just click on it, you should be able to see 6.43 gigabytes at the bottom. So it's pretty much bang on as far as the projected file size. Now, if this is just an empty piece of paper for you guys, chances are you don't have WinRare installed. It's a extraction software that allows you to unpack packed files, basically. So you can see mine's showing type WinRare archive. So if you don't have it, just go to Google. It's a free download. Just type in WinRare download and uh, you can download it for 32-bit and 64-bit windows. I'm pretty sure it works on uh, other operating systems as well. But uh, then at that point, you will be able to see the three books. If it still isn't there, just right click on it and then you can click open with WinRare. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And we do have a readme text here. This readme text is just installation instructions, but you don't physically need it because I'm actually showing you how to install. So all we have to do is click extract to. And now we have to find our Medieval 2 folder. So for most of you guys, it will be in your local C drive. But again, just make sure you have enough space for it on your, uh, on your disk. So it's usually local C, program files 86, down to Steam, down to Steam apps, common, and then you should see your Medieval 2 game in here. But my solid state drive is quite small. It's only 500 gigabytes, so I actually don't have it installed there. But that is just for you guys that would have the Steam version on your local C drive. Uh, for me, I go G down to my Steam games, and then it's pretty much the same thing. Steam apps, common, and then Medieval 2 should be down here somewhere. There it is. So double click Medieval 2, and then just select the mods. Don't double click the mods because sometimes it actually populates a second mods folder. So just, just click on it once and then verify at the top that this is the right pathway and go ahead and click OK. 
and I've already got it installed. You guys should make sure that you delete the oldest version first, and that's actually a very good point. I'm glad this came up, so let's actually just stop that for now and go ahead and click G. Steam game, Steam apps, common, down to Medieval 2 Total War and mods. And see this third age reforge folder? We don't want that, so just hit delete. We're gonna completely get rid of the old files first. I wouldn't recommend trying to overwrite the files in the third age folder. I would just rather you guys delete the entire folder and then extract it. I meant to show you that beforehand, but I forgot it. I forgot I still had it in there. So there we go. So now we can extract you. And then I'm gonna just go through the same exact pathway, Steam Apps, Common, down to Medieval 2. And just select mods and okay. And there, you can see that it doesn't pop up. So that's a really good sign. If that does pop up and you click OK and then you try to run it, I doubt it will work. I would rather you guys just delete the old Third Age Reforge folder and then you can extract the new one into its fresh spot. But this is going to take a little bit of time. So we're just going to do a quick cut here and then we will come back when the download is almost finished. Alright guys, it's just about finishing up the download there. It only takes about two to three minutes for it to complete. And it also does drag the README file over into your Medieval 2 Mods folder, but you can just go ahead and put that into the Third Age Reforged folder for now. And when you double click on Third Age Reforged, please make sure that everything is here exactly as it's shown. If anything is missing here, just delete this Third Age Reforged folder and then try the process again. But please make sure that you have all these files in this order. And I'm going to go ahead and switch over my recording software now so that we can get into a battle to show you that it does indeed work. But if you guys are wondering which is the file to launch the game, it would be this reforged bat file. So make sure that you double click on this and it will launch the game. Okay, let's go ahead and switch over the recording software and then we will get into a battle. Alright guys, welcome to Third Age Reforge 0.97, and as you can see, we have a new main menu screen here with a movable logo animation. Very, very cool indeed. But uh, you can see that we do have the ability to select the Third Age campaign. As I said to you guys though earlier, it is still in early beta stages, and there are quite a few known crashes and bugs with it. And I haven't played a campaign very, very far in. I have tried the Dwarves of Erebor and uh, Gondor, and I did get a couple of turns with no crashes whatsoever, but I did try the Realm of Enladris, and I did get a turn one crash. So as I said, you know, kind of play at your own risk at this point, but the Third Age Reforged team is working nonstop to get this campaign up and running for you guys. So just be patient. They will iron out all of the bugs and fix the campaign so that it is very very playable in the near future but we're not going to jump into a campaign at this point we're going to just show you guys that the battles work because third age reforged is all about the battles so we're just going to actually jump into a quick battle here And there we go, guys. We have loaded in. Let's go ahead and just quickly deploy our Dwarven forces here. Looks like they chose the Dwarves for us. One of my favorite Lord of the Rings races. It used to be that I loved the Elves when I was when I was younger. It was all about the Elves. But uh, nowadays, it's, it's more about the Dwarves. I think that they're... Uh, much sturdier race than the elves, but I'm sure I, I really don't want to get into a Lord of the Rings debate with you guys. It's just my personal opinion. But as you can see, it looks like it does work without any trouble whatsoever. We can uh, just maybe select all of our all of our units here aside from the Ballista and then just have a ch an epic charge here on this map. It looks like we're on some kind of ashy mountain map. Very, very cool. I'm not sure if we're facing Isengard or Mordor. Looks like Isengard. But uh, that is absolutely everything, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed today's how to install video. And if you have any issues with it, just leave a comment down below and I will be more than happy to help you out. And if you'd like to see some more battles on Third Age Reforged, it's been quite some time since I've actually done any Third Age Reforged battles. And I've kind of been itching to get back into it and get some content up on the channel. So if you want that as well, again, leave a comment down below and I will try to deliver within the next couple weeks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next one.